This is code.org. Let's see what we have here. You can change the animation when the player changes the direction. By the way, if you don't have this stuff, if you can't control your guy, you need to go back and do the other chunks of this lesson. So, and this is what we're going to do. We do want to change the animation. It doesn't make sense right now if I go to the left. I'm walking backwards. I'm moonwalking. Uh, all right. So, inside the animation tab, copy the animation of your player sprite. Flip each frame, and I'll show you what they mean, of the new animation so that your sprite is facing in the opposite direction then we're going to rename the animation all right so let's do that stuff i'm going to head to the animation tab up here and here we are alien walk right now i want to copy it to do that i can just click these double box things next to the trash can and it says duplicate if i hover over click and now i want to well make them walk the other direction i'm going to change the name of this from enemy walk right underscore copy one whatever um, I'll do enemy walk left and notice what they call this is camel case so lowercase a to start you can't have spaces you really don't want to so instead I capitalize the letter of the start of any other words they call that camel case regardless all right so let me go ahead I have enemy I have alien walk left I'm gonna mirror this so you could rotate it with this rotate counterclockwise button on the right hand side but this mirror, which looks like a split triangle, whoop, and now it still kind of looks weird, right? Because he's flipping back and forth. So I'm going to click the second frame and whoop. By the way, you can speed up or slow down your animation with this right here. Okay, code. Now what is it one nice to do? Inside the move player function, set the sprite's animation so that player changes direction it is facing when they go left and right or when left and right is pressed. All right. So we want to find the move player function. Keep in mind, notice move player right here in the draw loop. So this function is called 30 times a second because the draw loop runs 30 times a second. The computer says, what the heck is move player? And it goes, oh, smack, here it is. And it runs this code. Right now we're just moving literally. We need to change the picture. Okay, well, what do we do? Just, what do we do to add a picture to our variable up here? We set the animation to walk right. So what can we do if we want to change that picture? Same idea here. I'm going to go to sprites and I can set the animation. I want to set it to a left one. It doesn't really matter. I can put it here. I'll put mine right there. Once they start moving towards the left and then I'm going to say, okay, the player variable now has a new animation and what will it be? Enemy walk left. Now this isn't sufficient and I'll show you why. So look, I'm facing right and I'm going to hit the left arrow key. Yay, left. Now I'm going to hit right. What? Oh. Why doesn't it go back? It's not going back because way at the top, we do set it to the right animation, but we do that once. This code at the top only runs the second we hit run and not again, right? The draw loops, what's running after that continuously. So once we hit left, it sets the animation to the left. We have no way to change it back to the right. That's only at the very beginning. So if we want it to change back when we hit right, same deal. We got to drop in the right. Uh, if statement player dot set animation and whoop. let's give this a try. And now, yep, if the condition is true, I will move either direction. We are having an awesome game. Onward. 